RG from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called Night at the Gates of Hell. This isn't exactly random. I do know the developer of this game, kinda. I mean, I did voice one of the characters in the Cheek Freak, Night Freak, you know what I mean. The Booty Creek Cheek Freak. I've always had the hardest time getting the title of that game right. But yeah, um, this is called Night at the Gates of Hell. This is their big upcoming game. Jordan, if you need me to voice act again, I'll do whatever you need me to do. I could voice a dog in the background if you want me to. You know, like I can really do those things. I can even voice this guy. Oh, brain. See, I'm auditioning for my next role. I think we're just looking at a cemetery or are we in the cemetery? We're nowhere. Oh. You're an asshole. Yeah, you're a douchebag. The first gate is opened. Let the feast begin. Am I really gonna let a dude with some blue tat dancing shoes talk to me like that? And I thought I was about to zoom into his crotch. I was like, what kind of game is this? All right, Night at the Gates of Hell. I've been looking forward to this game. This is just a teaser, though. It's not the actual game, because if it was, it wouldn't be in a Where free random she? games episode. You told me to meet her out here. Last time I let some bitch pick a location. Whoa, Liam, chill with that. How could anyone get the mood out here? Get in the mood out here? What are we getting in the mood for? Hold up. Okay, making sure there's no bones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Making sure there's no bones over here. Wonder why the church is lit up like that. Weirdos must be having some kind of dumb service. Don't be talking about them like that. They will haunt the shit out of you. I'm telling you, I don't say anything weird inside of a cemetery. Because you don't know who's listening. You don't know what kind of evil spirits are just ready to haunt your ass tonight. So I would never talk any type of crap in any type of cemetery. Because <laughs> What in the actual ass? What is your problem? Huh? Look at me. What is your- What is your problem? Haha, <laughs> I can't believe I scared you. Don't be ridiculous. Of course you didn't scare me. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. You scared me a lot a bit. I'm not even gonna lie, Razor. After like all, that is your real name? How can you expect a man such as myself to be afraid of someone like you, a woman? Liam definitely has micro penis. God, you have such a way with words. Definitely has micro penis. Come over here. Come over there? Why don't you come over here? Oh, you want me to come over there? Oh, okay, so that's what this is. Yeah. That's why I came all the way there. Yeah, that's... Oh, you looking at me like that? Okay, she's making sure I was still there. She's like, where are you? All right, Razor. Oh, my Whoa. God. Okay, that jump scared me more than anything in this game. Those are some titties. Those are some titties. You can't see it right now. You're probably just seeing my face zoomed in right now. But those are some badonkers. Whoa, are you serious? Are you serious? Is this... Jordan, are you serious right now? Where's the condom? You know I can't show no pepperoni nipples on this YouTube channel. Oh, uh... Did you want me to use one? Nobody else has ever had a problem. Do I look like a wannabe mother to you? No protection, no action. Okay, I think I have one in the car. I'll be right back. Is there anything I can get your highness while I'm gone? You can get lost if you don't come back with a condom on your dinghy. On my dinghy? Man, nobody's ever called my shit a dinghy before. Ah, uh, she packed us a lunch. Too bad you didn't pack the strap. No strapping, no smacking, as they say. But yeah, uh, baby girl was laying on that picnic. She said, this is the first thing. Who the fuck is that guy? What is that? Who was that big bitch? I was gonna say, she said, I'm scared now. I'm already stuttering. I was about to say, she sells, she sells by the she shore. Fuck, I said she shore. What was that big thing? That's what she said. There was a big, there was a big thing. There was a big, big thing. And I'm not talking about me. Cause I know that the condoms that I have they're not anything. They're nothing special. Search car. Yes, have one left. Today is my lucky day. How do you only have one left? You act like you use them every day, like seven days a week or some shit. You should have had the whole pack on you. Unopened, sealed, signed, delivered. And something tells me that we're not gonna be using no condoms today. <laughs> I'm telling you. We're gonna be strapping in a different way. Yup. Yeah, I guess somebody got in her guts before we did. That was a bad joke oh to say. Oh my God. This. This can't be happening. There's already maggots? 
I need to get out of here. Right now. Look, I've been into like some... I was gonna say, I've been into some like crime documentary stuff lately. What do I do? Kendall! Shit, the power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Hey, don't eat that! That's mine! She packed that picnic for me! This dude looking like the back of my ball sack. I gotta get out of here, everybody. But I was gonna say, I've been watching a lot of crime documentaries. Little maggots like that, they don't settle in till like 24 to 48 hours after our body's decomposing. But you know what? What do I know? I'm not a forensic scientist. I'm just some asshole. I'm just some big giant asshole. Do I go here? Yep, I go here. Thank you, random gate, for opening. Holy shit. Like, literally. He, he looked like a shit. He looked like the cheek freak. <laughs> My boy looking like the cheek freak. Uh, what if the cheek freak makes a special appearance here? Enter the church. This is not good. This is definitely... Oh, fuck. I thought it was going to be that dark. Oh, fuck. This is not good. I shouldn't be cussing inside church. I mean, oh, freak. Oh, darn. Oh, the 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 deer Oh, the 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 deer Oh, how do I get up here? You know what this reminds me of? Nun Massacre. And I know a lot of people are telling me that I should play the the remastered version or whatever it was. But before I continue, I just want to say that I'm so scared because I have to beat the game again to unlock the new content. So I've been just too scared to try to beat it off camera. That's why I haven't played it. But let me read this note. Most of this note is in a language I don't understand. But at the bottom in English is written, Confess to me. What the hell is going on here? You want me to confess to you? Okay, I did sneak a couple cookies last night. I did go over my calories. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? It's locked. I guess you can't. Can you ever forgive me? That's a coffin. Please, God, no. Inspect casket. It's a coffin. There's a plaque that reads, Sister Mary, may God guide you home. Sister Mary, may God guide you home. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it all mean, baby? I think I need to find a key. There's gotta be a key so we can unlock this bitch. I mean, this uh, bastard. I mean, they're all cuss words. I'm sorry, I get awkward when I'm inside the church. Is there anything here for me? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing but disappointment, baby. Is there anything in the confessional booth? Oh, it is. Oh. Oh! Cheek Freak? Who is that? Let me read this note. Sister Mary, your transgressions have not been ignored. Bring a symbol of your repentance to me and confess your sins to be forgiven and be allowed to stay on these grounds. Is that you that wrote that? You can't just tell me that? All right. Hey, it is what it is. I'm exiting the booth and I'm gonna make my way to your booth and then maybe we can cuddle or something, okay? Let's go. Wait, I can't? Why is it all lit up like this? Oh shit, maybe I was supposed to do that. All right, everybody? I need to be on the lookout for a key or something. Everything's like lit up green and shit. I mean, and shart. I mean, that is shart a bad word? Whatever, I don't care. Can I go in here now? It's locked still. But the casket, oh God. Pick up crucifix. <gasps> The power of Christ compels you for real. I think I know what to do. I show this to the zombie inside of the booth, right? Come on. I'm confessing my sins. Watch this. There you go. Ooh, slide into my DMs, why don't you? Okay, so we gave him the crucifix. He gave us a key. Underground drug deal type shit. Me gusta, me gusta. It's really foggy in here. They should really uh, clean all this dust out. Oh boy. What is this? What is that? What is anything? What is that? Huh? <gasps> Who are you? Excuse me. What is that? Oh God. Somebody went back there. Everybody, prepare. What is that? <laughs> I didn't know when it was gonna open. That was creepy. It seemed to have happened almost overnight. <laughs> what are you doing we to me, Jordan? I couldn't believe what we were seeing. Everyone thought it was some elaborate hoax, but we were wrong. <laughs> Dead wrong. Dead wrong. So yeah, I guess Liam was just um, story bait. He was just died for story. Night of 
Oh, show me the of. Oh, night at. Damn. My bad. Totally screwed this up. Just like booty cheek creek freak. Duh. All right, everybody. Ready, ready? We're going to say it. Gates. Come on. One, two, three. Gates. And then of. Yeah, here's of. Here's of. Show me of. Pop, 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 pop. Oh. And here we go. Ready, 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 ready. Hey. <laughs> I'm so ready for this game. I cannot wait. This is going to be so cool. I've been following Jordan, like, tweeting about this game for a while now. And the whole development of it, I'm just so excited to just get into it. I cannot wait to play this game. But yeah, I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box below so you can wishlist it before it comes out. Because he did say that it helps a lot when people wishlist games on Steam. So yeah, if you like what you see right now, go check it out. But let's move on to the next game. Next game today's episode is called Last Bus Home. This game just drops you in here, and this is what it is. So we're waiting for our bus in the middle of buffuck nowhere, and it says four minutes left. Okay, now we're near this stinky, steaming pile of trash that have flies just buzzing all around. That's good. Can't even sit down on this lonely bench. That's creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, we can't even go there. Oh, fuck. I don't like the sounds in this game. I think I'm going to stand right here in the middle of the road. And then I'll just wait until... Oh, I thought I saw something. Holy shit, I'm freaking myself out. I've had to take the bus before when I was a young kid, but that was back when I had to go to school. Because the school was a long way from where uh, I lived at. I'm creeped out. I don't like this. Let me see how long. Three minutes left. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just keep my head in a swivel. Holy shit. Nothing's happening, but I'm creeping myself out. You know when you convince yourself that something scary is going to happen, but nothing's going on? That's how I feel right now. I feel so uncomfortable that my nose is starting to itch. There you go. Itch has been settled. <gasps> what the heck? Who the hell are you? Just a person waiting for the bus. I hope so. They just came out of nowhere. They just came out of the asshole of that bush. I'm not gonna go anywhere near this person. How about that? He's a little too finely dressed for my liking. Is he looking at me? I don't know. Why am I going near him? It's like a magnet. I'm just going near him. All right. Kiss me, my love. Uh, how many more minutes? Two minutes left? Okay. I'm just gonna stay right here. How about that? You stay on one side, I stay on the other. Sound good? Yeah? Sounds good to you, sounds good to me. I have bad breath. I had Subway for lunch, the tuna. That's why I'm this far away. You know, I don't wanna ruin your night. Ruin your ghostly night. Hey, kid! What? Where are you out at night? I'm trying to go home, you old geezer? And I'm not a kid. I'm a grown ass man. You don't wanna talk, do you? I'm talking to you right now! Just because I'm across the street doesn't mean we're not having a conversation here. What's up, man? What do you really want to talk about? Huh? How about this? How about you see this strap in my waistband? I have a bottle of beer with me. Maybe that will make you talk? I don't drink alcohol. I'm Team Sober right here. Team Sober. The king of Team Sober. Come on, then. Take a sip. That sounds wrong. That sounds a little too wrong. That sounds so wrong. I'm about to put a clip in your ass. How about that? Should I go over there? His hands are in his pocket. I don't like the way this is going. So I'm just going to chill right here. I'm not going to do anything, bud. Should I? Maybe I should. The bus is coming. So should I go over? Is he going to kill me? Let me see. Oh, God. Hold on. Let me just see how long the bus is going to take. You will regret this one. That's the last bus. Oh, shit. God damn. You're annoying. Why are you looking at me like that? Come on, let's go. <coughs> one out of three endings. You made it home safely. All right. Oh, so there's other endings. So by not fucking with this dude, I made it home safely, which is like the most rational thing to do. Don't talk to any strangers, especially one that's trying to offer you something. 
Like, what if you don't want to talk? You don't have any obligation to talk to people that you don't want to talk to, okay, everybody? Anyone watching this, if someone tries talking to you, like, say you're going to a store and someone's trying to talk to you, you have no obligation to talk to that person, okay? No matter what they are. They could say that they're the police. But until you get, like, official documentation, you don't have to do shit. Okay, so the person who's just waiting for the bus is right here. So what do we do? Can we go near him? I'm right here, bud. What brings you here so late? Oh, he's saying something different now. That's cool. You don't want to talk, do you? Oh, maybe he said that before. Where's the beer? Show me the beer. Show me the alcohol. Show me the drugs. Let's do lines of coke right there on the bench. How about this? How about what? I have a bottle of beer with me. Maybe that will make you talk? Come here. Give it to me. Give me the beer. Come on, then. Take a sip. Two out of three endings. You went missing. Your body was never found. Holy shit. There's only one other ending that I think that we can get. When the bus comes, I'm just not going to get on the bus. Let's figure that out. Because there's not much to get, right? There's only three endings. So one would be to get on the bus. The second would be to take the sip of alcohol. And I think three is to not get on the bus. Just stand there. Stand there with my thumb up my ass. Or maybe we can walk home. Maybe that's an ending. Let me see. Oh, nope. Video game barriers. The invisible kind. The ones that I know and love. So, yeah. We're just gonna stay here. Let's see what happens. You know? Maybe we won't take the bus home. And then he just starts chasing me. He just starts running at me like a running back. Fuck, that'd be creepy as hell. <sighs> Come on now. Does anybody have any, like, creepy bus stories? I don't have any. For some reason, when I rode the bus, that shit would just make me sleepy. I was a little sleepy ass every time I went on the bus. One of the memories I do have when I took the bus home, actually, was right after school, the bus would come there at, like, 2.30 p.m., and I believe you had, like, 25, 30 minutes to get on the bus before it officially left. And like I said, from school to the house, it was like, I don't even know, like probably like a half an hour drive. So I remember after school one time, I was super hungry. So there's a food court next to the school that I went to and they had a whole bunch of stuff. They had um, Popeyes, they had uh, like a burger place, they had Long John Silver, they had some like Asian place. I forgot, but I wanted Popeyes so freaking bad. I loved getting chicken tenders and I loved getting the Cajun fries. Shut up! Don't you hate kid me, I'm a grown ass man! Anyway, uh, yeah, so what was I gonna say? Yeah, I wanted chicken tenders and I wanted fries. So I was like, you know what, I have enough time. So for some reason, it took a while. I saw that the bus was starting to leave from the window. So I grabbed my stuff and I was chasing the bus with fries and chicken tenders in my hand and I was eating a couple of the fries, like some of them were in my mouth. So I was huffing and puffing and I was sweating the whole time I caught up to the bus because I guess it stopped because maybe like the kids told them that, you know, some loser with Popeyes is running after the bus. So I was sweating and I was just sitting in my seat eating my Popeyes and yeah, that's one of my stories. That's one of the only stories that I have <laughs> about the bus. But let me know if you guys have any, like, scary stories or interesting bus stories. So, yeah, we're not going to get on the bus. Maybe this guy will. And let's see what ending we get. It's probably going to say, you missed the last bus home. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. That ending is not going to be good, is it? <laughs> it's like, you missed the last bus home. But unfortunately for you, so did this guy. And, yeah, I'm just going to stay as far away as I can. Because that's not good. That can't be good, right, everybody? We missed the last bus. Oh, shit! What the heck? How did he end up behind me? You died. Your corpse was discovered the next day. He killed me right then and there? What a freaking ass master. He was right here, and then all of a sudden, he was right behind me. That was actually terrifying. <laughs>
can get down to business. Your controls are hot, operator. Standing by. Whatever you say, comrade. Whoa! How did that happen? I'm assuming we're opening this hatch? Yes. Ooh! I hate spiders. Why the hell did I open that? I hate spiders! What the? Holy shit, that was a big bitch. That was the queen, wasn't it? Begin the self control procedure. Load the crane in the nest and pull out the vessels. Oh, then oh. put them in the sample case. If you are unsure how to proceed, prepare to the crane operator manual. Okay. Fuck me. Okay, crane operator manual. What does that mean? Can I go down here? Ooh. Sweet. This is interesting. Oh, wait. Got it. Okay, I'm coming back up. What did we just grab? This is like a UFO catcher. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Whatever the hell that is. Let's put that in there. Can we drop it? Nope. Okay. We just have to do it one by one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hold on. I got gotcha. you. Um, let's go here, put that in there. What in the hell is going on with me? Ah, okay, my depth perception is all the way off. Holy crap, I apologize, everybody. What the f Did that work? Well done. Thank you. Now, I will remind Try my you best here. I need to be Each careful with your mom. Watch this. Vietnamese dongs. Vietnamese dongs? Wait, who's talking about Vietnamese dongs? What the hell? I don't want no Vietnamese dong. Let's bring this up. What did we just grab? Ooh. Oh my! Whoa! Why would you do that? How did a spider break the glass? God damn! Alright, let's go, let's go. Come on. I'm gonna talk about spiders and glass. Um, I think we just gotta do it till we hear the beeps, right? Oh, whoops. Did I break it? Oops. <laughs> I think that was supposed to happen. Oh, you want me to? <laughs> you want me to go out there and do it myself? Okay, Constantine. Okay. Yeah, you want me to go out there and do it myself? That's cute. That's real freaking cute. Big ass spiders. Exit out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sign, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> Big ass spiders, bro. I would have wrote that caution sign. If I was the caution sign maker, I would have said, Big ass spiders. You're probably going to get your ass clapped. Watch out. Yeah, this is bad. This is Michael Jackson bad. Fuck. Bro, even Tom Holland don't fuck with these spiders, bro. Oh, man. Got it. Oh, shit. What's in here? Can I jump in there? Never mind. Not gonna do that. Oh, boy. Oh, shit, I hear it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Just go, Jay. Big ass spiders. Whew. That sign wasn't lying. That's the realest sign in history. Please close. Oh, God. Okay. Back to business. Good job, comrade. Thank you. We might not have gotten all the samples, but for the first time... For my... What is that? What is that? I have no idea. OH SHIT! No idea what that was. No idea why there was a big ass ball just flown up in the air and then the spider just finished the job. Alright everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude!